Good morning, beautiful people! Today almost been a sad day in American history. Thank God! Thank you, Lord, for protecting President Trump. It's sad that people lost their lives, but that's part of you got to be willing to give it all up to protect something better than yourself. Ain't that the American dream? Put it all on the line to try to make something better. We all have a job to do here in America, and that's love each other, protect each other, protect our children, because we are the people. God bless you. Get out there and make America great by loving each other. We're all Americans. We are all Americans. Everybody be grateful for what you got. Why you got so much dirt on your face? Digging. What you digging for, player? You see, just because this dog is stronger than these chickens don't mean it should slaughter them. No. Just because you're strong and you can do something don't mean you should do it. We all have to wait in this life. And we all have a job to do. It's up to us to try to make it better. God bless y'all. Live free. We die trying. America. 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 I love every one of y'all. And I would gladly die to protect your right to free speech. This divide and conquer that we have been been pushed upon, we are being played emotionally, mentally, physically. This is a war psychologically. They're trying to beat us down. They're trying to make us give up. They tried everything possible. Endless, endless investigations. Endless and endless tries to, to make us lose our faith in this beautiful American dream. Don't be fooled. God bless you. God bless you all, Americans. Today's our day, people. Let's make a change. I love all Americans. Look at my Bob White got killed somehow. Something killed it in here. It's up to us, people. We got to do better. Tomorrow is the day that we all need to come together and make a change. A change for the better. A change for the people. A change for America. I love all America. Even if I don't agree with you, it don't mean I want anything bad to happen to any of y'all. I love Sleepy Joe. He is our president. I didn't vote for him, but he's our president. And I don't want nothing to happen to him. And I would give my life to protect Joe, Trump, any one of them. Any one of our soldiers, there any person willing to give their life to this country. Ain't that what it's all about? Being able to give that great sacrifice to protect your family, to do something better? People, today is our day of reckoning. I didn't sleep last night at all. All I did was contemplate and pray to God. And I pray that we could find that this will bring us closer together and not farther apart. They at least want to divide us into our own small little groups. That way, they can put us against each other. Instead of us coming together as people, coming up with solutions to these problems and working together as one, we are farther and farther apart. Let's bring it together, people. We are all Americans. 
We all want our children to be safe and have a safe environment to grow up in. One with freedoms, not one where everything is a, a uh, security problem. We got to do better. God bless y'all. Please, people. I pray to God that we can come together as Americans. Good morning, America. Yesterday could have been a very sad day. Only by inches in God's grace are we able to still have a presidential candidate running in his office. Anybody that wishes harm on Joe Biden, you should be ashamed of yourself. And anybody that thinks it's okay to wish harm on Donald Trump, you've been brainwashed. You need to ask yourself, why would you wish death upon someone else? Why would you wish harm on someone that's willing to sacrifice their freedom, their time, their money to make this country better? Joe thinks he's doing right, and you know, a lot of people believe he's doing right. I don't agree with anything that he's doing, but I don't wish him any harm, because that ain't what the American dream is about. It ain't about harm. It's about wishing for something better, by like creating something better. God bless you all. Just like these birds. They all deserve a chance to grow, to be healthy, to be safe, a chance to make it and to be something, to have a family, to create an egg, to create a life. Just like minorities, just like everybody in America, everybody on this earth. We all deserve God-given freedom. Freedom to become a better person. I wasn't born a perfect person. Well, I was born a perfect person, and I grew into something not so perfect. But I thrive to be better, and that's all we can do each day, try to make our life better, try to improve ourselves. We came very close to losing it all yesterday, people. And if we don't stop to divide, tomorrow's not going to be promised to nobody. I just wish that this would bring us all closer together and let us realize how close we came to civil war. Come on, run the state Sanctimonious! I pray for the people that lost their lives. I pray that God will, will, will bring us understanding from this tragedy. I pray that God will help us come together to become a better marriage. We need to take time to reflect. We need to stop listening so much to other people. We take time to reflect on what's going on. Sanctimonious! Lord, Sanctimonious! Only good reflection can be true. Only can recognize. We all have to reflect on what's happening. This is serious, people. We're at the break of war all over this country, all over this world. There's a political 
movement to have endless wars for long periods of time. I don't know about y'all, but I don't want a world war. I don't want nothing to do with anything to do with the world war. I just want to take care of my family, take care of my birds, try to have a better life. But ain't that what it's all about? You guys should be better start thinking for ourselves and not let other people you see if you hear something a thousand times constantly you might start believing it as the truth it's up to us It's their job to confuse. Back in the day, the news used to bring you a story. And how they did it was they gave you multiple sides of an opinion. They didn't just give you one opinion, one side. They brought you both sides and then they gave it up to you to come up with what you believe. It ain't like that anymore. We don't get to make our minds up anymore. We are told now that there is only one side, and it's their truth. And if we don't see that, then we're the problem. I will take responsibility for my thoughts. And I would like to say, anybody you don't understand, anybody that's okay with what happened to Trump yesterday, and thinking that that was a good thing to happen, you're sick. You have literally been manipulated to the point that you are actually evil. I think that hurting someone that's willing to give their health, their time, their money, their freedom to making their country better. Ow! I just got stung by a rock, son. Anyone that thinks that that is okay, don't understand what America stands for. <laughs> they don't understand. If you stand for anyone dying because of the political beliefs, you do not understand what this beautiful concept of America is about. America is based on an idea of freedom. 
giving everybody the right to have free religious, freedom of thought, freedom to vote. Anyone that tries to silence someone else's right to have those thoughts and those freedoms, then you are evil. You are promoting evil. We're not supposed to silence the opposition. Everyone is supposed to have a right to speak and a right to believe. In a, in a way to speak on it, to try to improve each other's life. That's what it's truly about. I raise these birds because they give me the ability to have freedom to raise my own food, to, to decide what I consume. Cause I decide when I feed these guys. Hey, Belly, get out of that water! No. I decide how I feed these guys and how I care for them, and they give me my food. A non-genetically mutated food. Because as Americans, we have the right to choose. To live better or to live sad. God bless y'all all. Thank God we live in America and we have the right to talk and the freedom to speak. And that all almost went away yesterday. Martial law is the suspension of all rules and laws. All God given rights. And that's what the elite would do. Something like that. Just be successful. God bless y'all in peace. You like this?